Hello, today I am going to show you how to create simple mapping in Informatica. For that, we need one source table, one target table, one mapping, and one workflow. So, I want to load data from HRA data to PGT HRA data. If you see the data from HRA, it has zero records. Now I will show you the volume of data that it has in HRA data. <coughs> it has 1 million records. I want to load this 1 million records from HRA data to TGT HRA data. Using Informatica Power Center, first we need to create a source using the source analyzer. Click import from database. Now click on connect. You can select HRA data and click OK and press Ctrl S so that this value, this table will be inserted under sources. You can view under sources. Now go to targets, select the import from database and from to which table we need to load the data. Here we want to load data to TGT underscore HRA data and click OK. Now once definition is loaded, Press Ctrl S so that it will be saved. Now click on Mapping Designer. Here we need to select a new or create mapping name. We can give any name. Okay, this is the name I wanted to create and click Ctrl S so that mapping will be created you can see a red icon saying it has invalidation because there are no source or target defined in this mapping select the source or drag and drop source here when you drag and drop source <coughs> you will see all the columns that are there in the table with the definition or data type now select the target table and drag and drop here you can see the same definition here now here right click and click and select all drag and drop to this one so a pipeline links will be created click on save once the we click on save the red icon shown here is disappeared and you can see what sources we created and what are the transformations and system is available now we need to create a workflow to run this mapping go to workflow manager then create workflow you can give workflow and click ok now we need a session to call the mapping here automatically whatever mappings are there under this folder are shown here and click OK. Now create a link between start and session. Now double click on the session so that you can give that database details. Here if you click on icon, you can select how many or different target types. For example, in our case we are using Oracle. So I created a practice DB connection. I can show you where you can see under connections if you click on relation you can view the all the connections that are available in the system now click on edit to see what values that I given name we can give any name these are the details for the database and this is the connection string or TNS entry name that we need to connect now we saved it right click and click on start workflow once you click on right start workflow you can see a session is running here you can see applied rows affected rows throughput is one lakh change like that how many records are inserted to the target go to database and see how many records are there in the system now run it 
you can see thousand one million records are there now again if i rerun the job what happens you can see you can we see that thousand uh, one million records are loaded again if i run it you can view that two million data is inserted here this is how we load the data thank you